Now, one thing I forgot to mention last week is I just want to mention, you know, because this is some place that, that you come and you, and you feel normal, you know, one thing I believe that God wants us to do is to, you know, have a lot of children, you know, be fruitful and multiply, but also, you know, that this would be a place that would, you know, welcome children into the gathering. So when, when I think about that, um, I, I just want to let you guys know that, you know, because we, we love children, we want children to be part of the gathering, that you should feel normal wanting your children to be in this gathering. And I just want to say it again, because it seems like it doesn't matter how many times I t tell you guys that you don't believe me, uh, you know, that if, you know, when you ha we have children in this gathering here and they make noise, to be honest, it doesn't bother me at all. Like, you know, when we're praying and you have to get up and make noise, we're praying and the kids make noise, you know, you need to go upstairs, you need to take them over there, and there's noise. T to be honest, I don't even blink an eye. It doesn't bother me at all because, you know, it just reminds me to thank God that we have our children here to be part of this gathering. Um, so, you know, in the house of God, it should be normal for you to have your kids in the service, not feel condemned or, you know, that people don't want them there. It should be the people that don't want them there. They're the people that should feel awkward in the house of God because we want the children to be part of this. So, you know, the people that are complaining that it's distracting or, you know, blah, they're making too much noise. Well, then they're the people that need to sit at the back or sit at the front or whatever and get away from the kids and, and you know, I guess mature a little and suffer the little children because they're the adult. You know, the children shouldn't cater for the adult. The adults should cater for the children so that they can be here and, and, and learn and be under the preaching and be part of this gathering. You know, another thing is, uh, you know, when, if you need to spank your children, you know, the house of God should be somewhere where that is welcome, that's normal. You know, the world will condemn you. You know, if you go to the shopping center, yeah, you may feel weird if the world doesn't want you to spank your kids. But in the house of God, in this population, in this gathering, it, you shouldn't feel weird at all. And I understand, you know, with children, you know, I feel the same too. I'm, I'm often not as strict with my children when I'm out in public or at somebody else's house or even at church. But, you know, sometimes you, you guys have seen me take Simon or Timothy upstairs to give them a spanking because I want you to know that, you know, if you need to take them upstairs and give them a spanking, you know, I'm not going to think you're a bad parent. In fact, I'm going to think you're a good parent and I'm going to thank God that they have a parent that loves them enough that even though they're amongst other people and strangers, people they don't know that well, that they're still going to get what they need. They're still going to get that spanking and that love that they need to put them in line. And, you know, oftentimes... It's when they're around other children, right, that they play up. So sometimes that's the time that you need to spank them because that's the time they're being naughty. So that's why, you know, we have the stick in that bathroom and we have the stick in the room upstairs because if you need to take them there and, and you know, uh, give them a spanking, that's absolutely fine to do. And I won't even bat an eye. I don't care at all. Uh, so that, those sort of things should be normal in the house of God. Uh, and you, you should come here and feel comfortable, feel that you're supported in your parenting, feel that you're supported to have your children here and to sit, and um, you definitely have my support uh, from the pulpit. 